What's up, YouTube? We're here at YCS Chicago with Hector Harris, top eight finisher. Uh, he played in Zectors. Uh, lost to a uh, pretty break just now. Uh, but tell us about your first round, first of all. Well, the first two rounds were pretty good. Like, I mean, I started off 2-0, I guess. But, uh, around here, I lost to Rabbit because game one, I opened up with the monsters, and he just beat me down with normal. And then game two, I set two, and he just opened heavy Rabbit, so guys, you can't really stop that. Yeah. And then from there, I won the next round, and then I lost to Rabbit, and then I opened heavy Rabbit, so guys, you can't really stop that. Yeah. And then from there, I won the next six. So I finished uh, eight one day one day two I lost on Inflector because he topped the English team with no hand and he stopped my guy. And Put you in the bubble. Him. Yeah, <laughs> and then I beat another guy uh, in in the eleventh round. Okay. Yeah. And then in top thirty two I played a Inflector mirror match. I beat him game one. Game two he uh, he beat me game three. I made a misplay but it didn't cost me the game because he had one card to my ten. Who was it? Uh, Joe Franco. Okay. Oh. Top 16. Okay, Top 16. I played a drag the Dragon Sworn. That was a pretty hard matchup. I beat him game one because um, I guess he opened up with Lila and I just beat this chain it. He couldn't get anything in the grave. And I guess I know it was Dragon, so I just rushed it. And okay. I rushed him and by turn three I killed him. He beat me game two. Game three I ended up uh, he mills and he ended up uh, putting two darks and uh, and a Lila. And I figured in his draw phase, I, cr I curled the Lila just to put him on a, in a tough spot. No life in there. And then he did a push. He, he did a push, uh, knowing he didn't have anything. He, he left me at 28, but then I had a... He curled my Hornet, but then I, I had a tank on the field. He ran it over. And I ended up getting another Hornet, and I just, like, OTK'd him with the Hornet. Okay, cool. And then really, I just... Game one, I went for game, uh, but I had no Dragonfly. But I ended up with, uh, with three Centipedes, Leviathan on the field. With three dragonflies in hand, Hornet, and then he had one card and sang, and I ran over sang, and he got dragonfly. And then uh, he drew, he had BLS, so he went to dragonfly, popped my field, two cards, and then he dropped BLS, Leviathan, Leviathan, uh, OTK Central. Yeah, he yeah. Does. <laughs> And then game two, they mid round deck checked me, and then I, I I came back, I shuffled, I opened up with three center pieces of BLS, so it was like a dead game. Yeah, yeah. And he got there first, and he got me. So you got to the top eight, not bash, uh, after how long since you missed your top? Uh, last long. Last long, yeah. Indy. Indy. Uh, he's back. Uh, hey, don't see you in Philly. I know you will see you at National. Go ahead and explain deck is for us. Well, it's common sense. Three, three of each effect. Oh, yeah, that's really you play nice on that, you're kind of dumb. Uh, three Valor, just because you get Valor or anything. I like Valor and Rabbit, you know, any, just three Valors is good. Uh, no troopers, because they get you faster to the Hornet, or you mill these guys. And uh, three Tour Guy, just Tour Guy. Tour Guy, Tour Guy, Tour Guy, yeah. One BLS, because I play three lights, and I like BLS. Uh, Sangin and Gigamancer. Okay. Magic or three MST because you need the MST. So, you know, the two swords for the OTK. How the sword help oh, work out for you? The sword? Yeah. It was good. I mean, every time you have it, it's, it's, it's game pretty much. Combo pretty good with the car trooper since you know these guys over here. Yeah, and then that combos with the traps. So, like, call either way, yeah. And, got and then just Heavy Reborn, Book of Moon, Dark Hole, Allure, and Foolish. It's stable. Okay. Traps, I played two Fiendish. People say that they like to take it out, but I mean, it's still good in the meta against everything. Okay. Uh, three calls because I was playing two card troopers. Yeah. And I it's kind of hard to come back when you summon one of these guys, they warning or solemn, and you flip over a call, and it's like, oh shit. You know. Triple call the hunting. Would you drop one for anything else? No, I actually like it. I will fight it out, like, one of them every game, just yeah. because I need a space, because I'll add in, like, massive amount of cards every round. But I needed to take it out, but it was still good. It was still, it worked really good. It didn't, it didn't clog in my hand. There'll be times I'll open up with double call and I'll have tour guys. So I'll be like tour guys singing. <laughs> I'll launch and I'll set call one call at a time. You get me? And I'll, I'll search for the extra stuff I needed. So uh, anything with, with that torrential and solid warning? Okay, yeah, pretty much staples. Yeah. Uh, cyborg. Three DD crows just because I expected a bunch of insectors. I mean, I, I played seven insectors this weekend. Damn. Yeah, so you know, Damn. and then I put that against also against dragons. You know, just because you can. It's kind of. People think it's stupid, but it just it controls their grave. Mm -hmm. You know, they play like six lights. You hit the light so target. Something I just hit the light targets, and then they just sit there. You know, it, it buys me a couple turns. Yeah. You get me because anything else in the deck, I mean, the the veilers you can still leave them in, but I mean, your veiler they don't have that many targets. Yeah. Obviously, if they bring out chaos swords and things like that, you can veiler it. Mm -hmm. But if I just remove them from the grave and I keep control of the game, you know, they can't do anything. Snowman against you know heroes. Even I even put these against Dragon. I mean, he attacked it with a with a red ice metal, and I just killed it. You know, so it, it stalled me. It's just turn. more ways to kill the big big yeah. beaters on the board. I got you. Against heroes, against any anti meta. Okay. You played against any rabbits? Um, yeah, I today? played a well. I played total. Of, I played two rabbits. My, one of my losses was to rabbit. To rabbit. Yeah. All right, you played that. Before. Okay. Lance, usually when I go when I go second, I'll, depends on the, I usually put Lance because they'll put in like the shadow and prison mirrors or the chain disappearances. So if I will go second, I'll put in the Lance. If I go first, I put in the chain disappearance against mirror and things like that because it helps out. Uh, two dust Pro tips right there. 
to the dust tornadoes, common sense. I mean, a lot of people, like, uh, I got this from, from my friend Chris, and it, make, it makes sense. It, the decree, like, you leave it there, and then, you know, um, if I just leave it there, and then they MST it, and then I just, they still have their life trapped. So I'd rather just dust tornado and try to go off so regardless. over two decree, you chose to do two dust just because of yeah. personal preference, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, two changes of branch because I expect a lot of inspectors. Yeah. And yeah, it worked. Good for everything, yeah. It worked in top 32. It, like he summoned to try to bait out something with his hornet, and uh, and I just changed his appearance his hornet turn one, and it sets him back. Cause from there I'll just you know bring yeah. you guys to the board. Defense and bottomless against heroes, uh, dragons. More removal. More removal, just because heroes, dragons, rabbits, even dark world. I mean, you can bottom with something. A deep prison is better than some of the stuff in the main deck. So, yeah. like that. Side out there. some of the death stuff, put yeah. in more life stuff. Yeah. That's, that's oh, dust against dark world as well. You know, you get just <laughs> chainable to duster. You play against any, any dark world at all? Yes, if I play one. One dark world, two loaded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of my matches, yeah. Like I went. Uh, actually, this weekend I had two matches to go to game three. Wow. One loss, two on me because he opened up broken. Every other match was two old except uh, one of my last rounds and then in top 32. Yeah. yeah. So you are the executive master, apparently. Uh, yeah. Anything important in the sideboard? Extra deck. Uh, no, oh, sorry, in the extra deck? Extra deck. Extra deck. Not really, I mean. Just a staple, it's pretty much just two landmines, two levers, one Leviathan, one Giga Brilliant, two Acid Golem. I might take one out. Yeah. I might take one out because now you need more space to okay. make more things. Oh, no. Utopia. It's like extra veto just because. Sometimes you can he make yeah, you could. Army arm because he he wins games. He could have won me a game in top 32 where I missed late. I heard about that. <laughs> Black Rose, Catastor. I put these two new guys to try them out. Like I used them once. Uh, I'm missing one. I know the, the um the L4 four is the good one. one. The one that books the monster face down. No. Well, but there's a level three one that also um he detaches from your opponent's X Y Z that gives him 500. Yeah, yeah. Player's and turn. you do it. Actually, actually, it was one right? game I brought them both out. He had a uh, it was against dragons. Happen. Yeah, against dragons. He um he had a uh, the red eyes and and I forgot the other monster and I ended up bringing both of them out. I used this effect on him. He attacks twice. I made him three. I don't know what these cards even do. During the damage step, it, it doubles their uh, their attack. This Why one doubles, yeah. it doubles and, and this one attacks twice. Okay. But I got a question so for you. Why no hoppers? No hop. I don't like the card to be honest. No? I really don't like. I, I like playing this guy over because either you know. Sometimes you mill pretty bad, you know, you can't really say you mill good all the time. But you get a drop. But then you send out the deck, and then when they kill it, he replaces himself. Pretty much, so, you know, that just pretty much, you got to dig for that card right there. Yeah, yeah pretty hard. much. So either you mill it, or if you draw it, you might have to have some plays. Yeah. I don't understand why you did it. I like that a little bit more. Yeah, it kind of sucked. I was in top eight. I won the DS. I mean, it really sucks. That's, the That's how it is. DS, Black DS, if you guys want it, hit up Hector Harris for sale. It's a full shot of deck list. 3DS. I'm sorry, 3DS. Yeah. You have any last comments? Shout out? Uh, well, shout out to Chris. He helped me with the side deck a little bit. Uh, I guess Alistair, I, I I talked to him about the deck, so he kind of I got some ideas from him. Uh, and shout out to you guys. Time Andrew, time they were that's about it. How are you doing, Fidel? How are you doing? I feel like that. I talked to my Puerto Rican friend Manuel. He got top 32. Oh, nice. He did well. Good play. Heroes. Heroes. All right. All right, you two. Promo sign off for now. Peace.